Let's see. We're going to listen right now to NYPD Commissioner James O'Neill speaking right now. No, that's a Con Ed investigation. So from what we've heard so far, uh, this, this, there was, wasn't a cyber incident, no criminality. It seems like a mechanical issue. So, you know, Con Ed will figure out what the issue is and make sure it doesn't happen again. And ironically, it's, it's the 42nd anniversary of the 1977 blackout, uh, which those who are there remember. Looting, fires, lots of problems. What has changed in the city? since that night, very much like this, a hot night, and yep. we don't have those problems at all. Well, a lot has changed. And you remember 2003 also, there was a blackout in August of 2003. That was a precinct commander up in the Bronx. We had some issues, but not major issues. But, you know, this, the city has become a better place. Uh, NYPD has had a lot to do with that. But well, as a matter of fact, all 8.6 million New Yorkers, all our law enforcement partners, said we're working towards making the city safer and safer each and every day. Can you talk about traffic? You had to stop it in a lot of areas, I noticed, yeah. because people were out there helping New Yorkers across the intersections. How did you deal with that? And how did you make sure? Yeah, so Assistant Chief Hughes, he's the uh, Patrol Borough, Manhattan South Borough Commander. He came up with a traffic plan immediately. Uh, Steve was first on the scene here. And we closed traffic from 4 2 up to 7 2 and from, uh, I think, from Fifth Avenue over. And it's, that's an important thing to do. You know, if we see that there's congestion, if you see there's no traffic lights, why let additional vehicles in here? Buses came through and uh, you know, it, it's good to get to let people get around on foot and, and traffic. We're uh, slowly but surely. The lights are on in most places. I think we're still dark from 2-6 to 4-2 from 9th Avenue West over to the river. But uh, I'm sure kind of will take care of that, too. Are you happy with the response tonight, Commissioner? Yeah, yeah I am very happy. Uh, we had 250 cops uh, immediately deployed up to the area to take care of traffic issues. ESU did a great job. Captain Tom Trainer is here with all of his people. The fire department, the firefighters, EMS did a great job, too, taking people out of elevators and looking after people that are on life support. And how do you respond so quickly? I mean, you guys were out here on the spot. I saw yep. you converging right here on 64th. How do you get one? All right, this, is, this is something that we have plans for. Every precinct has a plan. Every patrol borough has a plan the city has a plan if there's a blackout and we've had we've had them before as i said before 2003 in august was the last one and i was a i was a precinct commander i think steve was a precinct commander back then so we've lived through this and we know what we we really know what we need to do what went through your mind when you heard this happening tonight where were you what went through your mind what were you thinking well it's a saturday so i was home this, but i um, hopefully it was going to be contained but it started to spread a little bit further and okay. further and uh, we started to bring more and more people in so in terms of like a practice for New York's always on the top of every terrorism list. How does this feel um, response-wise? No, when it, when it first started happening, of course, that's what we looked at. And I was in contact with the New York office of the FBI. You know, they said it was not a cyber event. There was no criminality involved. So that I could that pushed tensions down a little bit. And it was up to Con Ed to figure out what the issue was and how we we're going to get lights on as quickly as possible. Because it is, as you said, it's a hot night. I can see everybody sweating here. And in terms of everybody in their place, everybody getting what they needed to get done, responding quickly, do you feel good about that for when the big one? Yeah, no, I do. I, I feel really good about it. The way we collaborate with all of our uh, law enforcement partners, the way we collaborate with the fire department and EMS, it's, it's relatively seamless. And we've had a, a number of major events over the last three or four years, and, and we get better and better at it. Have you spoken to the mayor or governor tonight about the yeah, situation? I was, I've been in contact with the mayor, uh, keeping him up to date all along. John Miller and I and, and Chief Hughes have, have kept him uh, in the loop. He knows exactly what happened, and he knows the lights are back on. So he was uh, real proud of uh, the first responders in New York City tonight. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Very All right, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Jessica, that was the uh, police commissioner, James O'Neill, giving us an update on the police department's response. Uh, he said he's very happy with the way his officers handle the situation. He said he was in touch with both the mayor and the governor, and he said he's glad the situation was resolved and uh, uh, lights are back on in this neighborhood. Uh, no word yet on whether the governor or the mayor are are coming to the scene, but um, a lot of relief here on the Upper West Side after several hours of blackout tonight. We'll send it back to you in the studio. All right.